With the release of the FX100, Amplify is now a family, and all the members of that family share the same control via mobile devices with the Amplify Remote app. So today I want to show that to you on an iPad. The first time you launch the Amplify app, it's going to ask you to sign into your Line6.com account. This is so you can participate in all the cloud-based behavior of the app. Sign in with your account if you have one. If you don't have one, you can just hit the button to create one on the spot. Once you do, this is what you'll see. So on the left-hand side, this is your menu structure. Amplify Remote, I'm signed into my Sean Halley account online. And this is my music library. It's a brand new iPad, uh, so I have no music yet. Any music that you have on your device, the cover art will show up here as you expect it to. Below that, you have My Tones. These are the tones that are stored on your account online. So any device that you sign into with your account, you will see these same tones. So I will see these on my phone as well. I can also do things like tone search. So I can just do a search for Hendrix, for instance. So you can see that the community has done a ton of work for you already in trying to find great Hendrix sounds. So if you want to, you can simply just touch one of these and load a sound. Below that, you'll find the icon for the hardware you have connected to the Amplify remote, either the Amplify 75, the Amplify 150, or the FX100. I've got an Amplify 150 today. And this is where you're going to see 100 presets. So there are 25 banks of four sounds. So you don't have to use your mobile device to control the amp. After you've got it set up, you can just use a foot controller. After that, you have the editor. We'll get to that in a second. After that, you have the tuner. After that, you have the master level. You can see there's two values here because there's actually a separate volume for the guitar versus how loud the amp is. So if you're playing around with music in your library and you want to be able to mix yourself against whatever the song is, you can do it right here. The same thing as hitting that volume knob on the Amplify hardware. So when it's red, it's the overall volume. And when you push it, you see the other color, that's the guitar volume. And then you have the editor. So from left to right, you get the guitar input, then a gate, a wah, a stomp block, the amp and the cabinet and then the stuff after the amp, a compressor, an EQ, a volume pedal, and then a modulation block and a delay block and a reverb block. These two guys can actually be moved uh, before or after the amp, which I'll show you in a minute. So the first sound is a top boost clean. So now we can start swapping out individual components and changing the tone. So if I want to take that top boost and turn it into something a little bit more aggressive, just come over here to the amp icon. And you can see there are four types of amps, four classes, clean, American, British, and high gain. So if we go back to British where we were, but go from the top boost to more of a plexi. So now it's doing this. Cool. So we can save it there and change the cab. Same idea. We'll go with the 20. We can also change the mic position. So let's start looking at other types of blocks. So we've got the delay block, if I turn it on. There is a digital delay in there now. So if you want to change that, you can hit the same icon that you've been hitting before, go to Analog Delay with Modulation, and you get this. Just a cool sound. So uh, let's say we went to the stomp block. So at the moment I've got this sound, this is as much crunch as I have out of that plexi. Which is cool, but I want to add some more dirt. So if I just turn on the, uh, the screamer that's there already. Problem though is that that pedal traditionally has a bunch of low end rolled out of it so that the distortion remains clean. So if you want to change that to something a little more gnarly, something much more fuzzy. Fuzzy. 
fun. So we can also, let's mute that for a second, turn the fuzz off. Now we've also got a modulation block here that in the spirit of this Hendrixian thing has a, uh, has a U vibe in there. <laughs> Now, you notice that modulation block is after the amp. It's going to sound very different if I put it before the amp. So you see, and then just drag it over. And now it's in front of the amp. It sounds different. Now all of that modulation is getting distorted the same way the guitar is. So if I pull some of the depth, pull some of the mix out a little bit, speed it up, and then turn that fuzz back on, and we sort of get 60s brown chaos. Now if you like it, it's very easy to save it. All you have to do is hit the save info button. So you can see a bunch of information about the tone. So the title of it, who the author is, this is me obviously. Uh, the song, who the guitarist is, information like what kind of sound, what kind of instrument, what pickup position perhaps what kind of pickup, and you can see here it says field required to publish tone. If you want to be able to share this tone uh, with the wider community, you have to fill out all of these fields so that Amplify Remote knows how to search for the tone that you've shared. So once you've got it where you like it, let's see, I kind of call this funky 25, fuzz lead. Now I say save tones, and you can see it gives me an option. It can just save as a new name or save to my tones. If I say save to my tones, it saves it to the cloud, to my account. And at that point, I can load that sound on any device that I'm signed into. Once you've saved it to your account, Amplify Remote has the ability to share it or publish it with a wider world. So if you hit the share button here, you can see that you can publish it to the wider Line 6 community. You can also tweet it or post it to your Facebook timeline. So you can use your favorite social media sites to be able to share your tone with followers, friends, or colleagues. So you can see that Amplify Remote is a fun and intuitive way to control your entire guitar life. It doesn't matter if you have an FX100, a 75, or a 150, the entire family responds to the same version of the app and the same presets. So head on over to line6.com, hit the dealer locator, find a dealer in your area with one in stock, and then head up to the App Store, download the free Amplify Remote app, and take it and your mobile device with you to the store. Thanks and cheers.